What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are general messages only from now, February 1st until the 5th, 2020. So take, re take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to you, you can find all the information in the description box down below on how to reach me. Let's get right off into it. This is a little bit of a spread. For the two cards of what you need to know, we have the Emperor, the Five of Cups, with the Wheel of Fortune, and the additional future is the Five of Pentacles. So, okay, here's what we get. We have an Aries sign individual, or somebody that is of their power. It, rep it would represent an emperor type of person, somebody that is the head of household, a father figure, a president, a king, somebody that is like a governor, somebody that has domain over a certain amount of people and has... And he leads with success. He, this is a success card, and he leads with that order and that planned practicality. Then we have the Five of Cups, which di um, directly correlates to some sort of disappointment or a loss. For a lot of people, I say that this is a partial loss, because we have three of the cups are spilt, but two are still left standing, and he isn't realizing... He's not looking at the two that are still standing. He is only looking at the spilled milk. He's looking at the things that he has lost, and he has not looked at what still remains. As the direct advice, the Wheel of Fortune basically says, don't let the vagaries of life and the steadfast fortune of cycles de um, depend on what you do. Your choices are yours to be made. The thing has happened, and you get to decide what you do you get to you don't really get to react to you don't get to choose what happens but you do choose you do get to choose on how to react to your surroundings so it's even if this is kind of for a lot of people that have control and it's like oh i don't have any control i want power i want to know all this and this you do at least have the power to choose what it is that you would like to do that power is yours and that is what this is saying here it's saying that you have it's kind of a let it be card, but it's also kind of a card of be here now, kind of accept that you don't have the full answers, or not the full answers, but you don't have the full the full picture of control, that you can't always control things. They happen in cycles. Sometimes fortune favors the fucking stupid, and sometimes it fa favors the bold. But this is basically a spread that I feel like you might be having some sort of depression from this, whatever loss this is. Um, let me, I'm going to pull one more card before I sum up what I want to say, because having him come out with the Emperor makes me think of this in a certain fashion, but we're, okay, oh shit, okay, so we have the Four of Cups. So the reason why that the Five of Cups here is because of the Four of Cups, there is some sort of emotion that is not being harvested back. I feel like there is... Somebody is isolating themselves. I feel like there, there, there is a situation in which somebody has been isolating themselves and you wanted to work through things with this person. I feel like you wanted um, success. I feel like you wanted... Basically, what I see happening is I feel like you feel like you are left out in the cold. You have been planning something with somebody. I feel like you have been working towards success with a certain person. There might have been a disappointment because to you, they might appear a little bit shut off. Um, the Four of Cups would represent that they aren't really harvesting emotion or giving any emotion at this time. So this could be an overthinking kind of spread as to why this person isn't necessarily giving you that emotion but i definitely see that it's kind of hitting you a little bit heavy so i feel like for a lot of you the majority of you this is going to be a situation in which you feel like there is some sort of loss to be had in a, in a scenario where there was once success because you feel like this person is no longer giving their all to you or you feel like this person is isolated and it might make you think a certain thing about you it might make you feel um questioned about your character so i'm going to ask where does this overall lead where does this end up going for the star sign okay so oh, i'm getting a lot like a lot of like almost all the star signs have gone very very similar energy this month i wonder if there's something some sort of moon or something that's going on that would affect this but it's kind of where this goes it is going to be the same thing, different day. If you do not learn how to change the uh, the common denominator here, it, it is going into battle prepared. It is somebody that is vigilant, somebody that is, um, what's the word? Where she is very, it's an R word, where she is very, re, she can recoil, but that's not the word. She is very resistant. She is, 
I'm going to sit here all day and think of the word and not get it. So I'm just going to say that she is somebody that is very, um, she pops right back up. If somebody, if somebody bops her down, she pops right back up. She is incredibly, <laughs> I'm going to forget what the R word is and it's going to bother me, but it is somebody that is resistant to this. It is somebody that is very resilient. She is very resilient and it will come back up and she'll keep fighting it. It is saying that you, for the most part, you're doing a good job at doing this that it's going to be the same old shit, different day, kind of to expect the same thing. I feel like it will continue on the path that it has unless you can find a way to put a stop to it, unless you can find a way to um, make this into a better situation. For a lot of you, this could be, with the Nine of Wands here, these are, there's some stress cards here, and I feel like for a lot of you, this is a situation in which is pretty... Um, I don't, I'm getting a very, very, very strong feeling that for a lot of you, this is a situation in which you, do we get the seven of cups in this or no? Okay. I get for a lot of you, I, I feel like some of you might be in your head about this. I don't know why I feel like that because I didn't really get that here as um, a reaffirmation kind of energy, but I do kind of feel like a lot of you are being shut off or isolated to it. Take in mind that you get to control um, how you react in the situation. So whatever situation this is, if you feel like you don't have power, the answer is you get to con you get to react to the situation, be it what way you feel like would be most uh, appropriate for you. But you definitely do have control when it comes to the choices that come after this feeling of loss, after this feeling of, because it's up to you. It's up to you where you want this to go. Taurus. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> but for the most part, you have the ability to make the choices for where it is that you would like to go in the situation, Taurus. It's up to you to get there. So until then, peace out, my moon tribe, and I'll see you later.